Hey, I want to take a moment today to talk about a couple of problems people often have with new leather holsters. Questions I get on new leather holsters tend to revolve around two things. One, the holster being too tight or the interior being too rough for their gun. Especially when you buy a mass production holster like this one here, this Galco Combat Master. They make a lot of these, so they make them a little tight. But the good thing about leather, it stretches. And also the good thing about leather is it can be taken care of inside also to reduce wearing because these rough interiors do wear your gun more. As you can see here, this gun, Holster is very tight. I've never really worn the brown one. I have a black one I wear more often. It's very tight. If I get that in there, it's hard to draw the gun. And this is without the holster even being on me. And these holsters work a lot by squeezing flat when you put them on and putting more uh, pressure on the gun. It's but even without that, this one's hard to get out of there. So this holster is a little tight. And like I said, it's a little rough on the interior. Now, it's still a really good quality holster, especially when you consider the price and how quickly you can get these. You can usually get these in like two days if you have Amazon Prime. So that's why I end up buying a lot of these. So it is a good holster. You just have to do a couple of things to it. Now, as a little bit of a contrast here, when you buy a nice custom holster like this Lobo gun leather holster, something that's made specifically by one person for one gun, one at a time, or you know, a few at a time, these tend to be a little better fit. The day I got this, my gun goes right in it. I mean, this was easy to get it in there right away. And the interior has a very smooth finish. The leather inside is finished down to where it's almost, it feels like I'm rubbing a piece of glass here, like a really smooth piece of glass, not leather. Now, a lot of people will think, well, that's necessary to keep them in there, to keep the gun in there. But no, that's not how they work. The roughness of the holster isn't required to keep the gun in. It's actually just tension. It's pressure pushed against the gun from all sides that holds it in place. The material doesn't have to be rough. If the material is really rough, like I said before, all that does is wear on the gun. So if you want a holster that's pretty good right off the bat, get something like this Lobo gun leather holster, but be prepared to wait a lot longer. You aren't going to pay a whole lot more. I think this holster was like $15 more than my Galco but you wait a lot more on these. But the wait's worth it because these are literally some of the best holsters I've ever owned as far as leather holsters go. So if you're willing to wait, go ahead and get a custom one like this one. But if you're not willing to wait, you need a holster right away and you got to get one of the Galcos. I'll show you what you need to do to them to get them ready to go right after you get them. Okay, you're going to need a couple of things right off the bat and that is a good paste wax, like Johnson's paste wax, and a piece of plastic wrap. Just like any normal plastic wrap, saran wrap, cling wrap, whatever. As long as it's something thin like this that you can wrap your gun in. Now the first thing you're going to do is just put your gun in it and start wrapping it up. Wrap it up good and tight. Now this step isn't absolutely necessary, but I find it a good step for a reason that you'll see here in just a moment. Now the gun itself with the saran wrap around it is going to be big enough to stretch out the holster. It's going to actually make the holster conform to your gun a little more, reduce the tension on the gun just a little bit so it's not so tight so you can draw more easily from it. But there's one more thing you're going to do with the paste wax to deal with that rough interior. All you're going to do is take some of the wax and put it on the high spots. Just put it on very generously anywhere the gun is going to make contact with the holster. Around the trigger guard, uh, around the muzzle, around the cylinder here if it's, a, if it's a revolver like this. You know, if it's not a revolver, it won't have the cylinder. But, you know, anywhere the gun is going to make contact with the holster, give it a nice healthy dose of the paste wax. Then you're just going to take the gun with the plastic wrap and the paste wax on it and shove it in the holster and leave it like that for two or three days. 
Now that other holster doesn't really need stretched out, so I'm going to show you one here that already has the gun in it. This has had the gun in it for about a day now. This holster, when I first got it, I couldn't even put the gun in and out of it. I would have to like move to get it out. Now it comes out fairly easily. And as you can see, the wax is staying on the high points in there. And once I've had this set for two or three days, I'll wipe all that off. But for now, that stays on there. And just as an example, here's a holster I did a quite a while back, but really haven't carried it since I actually conditioned it. So as you can see, it goes in and out very easily. So there you have it. All you need is a good wax like this Johnson paste wax and just some saran wrap or some plastic wrap and a couple of days time. That's all you need to take a holster that you got in the mail in a couple of days, a mass produced holster and break it in in a proper way so that whenever you go to use it, It'll function as if it was a high quality custom holster.